Hello and welcome to our channel. Here, we will review the newest technologies around the world. Today, we will talk about nano graphene technology. Harder than diamond, yet more elastic than rubber. Tougher than steel, yet lighter than aluminum. Graphene is the strongest known material. Graphene has been hailed by many as the wonder material of the 21st century, especially for nanotechnology applications. Graphene is the name for an atom-thick honeycomb sheet of carbon atoms. It is the building block for other graphitic materials. Graphene possesses other amazing characteristics. Its high electron mobility is 100 times faster than silicon. It conducts heat two times better than diamond. Its electrical conductivity is 13 times better than copper. It absorbs only 2.3% of reflecting light. It is impervious so that even the smallest atom, helium, can't pass through a defect-free model layer graphene sheet. One of the main features of graphene attracting the attention of technologists is its impressive ability to store electric charge, its capacitance. This feature is largely derived from graphene's very high amount of surface area relative to its volume. The research toward an understanding of the relationship between graphene-based nanomaterials and improved performance in energy-related applications is still at its early stage, and dilemmas remain for further studies. Graphene-based nanomaterials have many promising applications in energy-related areas. Just some recent examples. Graphene improves both energy capacity and charge rate in rechargeable batteries. Activated graphene makes superior supercapacitors for energy storage. Graphene electrodes may lead to a promising approach for making solar cells that are inexpensive, lightweight, and flexible. And multifunctional graphene mats are promising substrates for catalytic systems. Notwithstanding all the progress that has been made in the recent past, the research toward an understanding of the relationship between graphene-based nanomaterials and improved performance in energy-related applications is still at its early stage, and dilemmas remain for further studies. So, what do you think about nanographene technology? Will it change the future? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked our channel, don't forget to subscribe to get more reviews like this one. See you soon in our next video.